The study we first got the results of at ESMO last year was the Ipsos study. So the lead author is Professor Ming Lee from UCLH. And uh, at this, uh, uh, this BTOG 2023 meeting, he gave a presentation of the data set from that. The only real new information is a bit more data on subsequent therapies in, in, in patients in this study. So just to remind everyone what this study was about. So we know that immunotherapy single agent works in lung cancer in high PDL1 patients. We know that there's a difference in approval. So in Europe, it's greater than 50% based on Keynote 24. Uh, but there's another trial called Keynote 42, which shows some efficacy above 1%. So in, in some health economies, uh, that is reimbursed and approved. Uh, but these studies were all done in fit patients, in PS01 patients. But many patients with lung cancer are elderly, poor PS, PS2, PS3, have significant comorbidities and don't meet the reimbursement criteria for immunotherapy. So Ipsos was a very clever and important study because we know for that group of patients, we've defined single agent chemotherapy, vinorelbine, gemcitabine, gemcitabine as being potential options. So uh, if you go, these are quite historical trials like the MILE study. Um, and so we know that single agent uh, chemotherapy can help this poor PS group of patients. And so what Ipsos did is it took those patients. So these are patients with lung cancer Cancer, regardless of histology, their PS uh, two or three, or they or they're elderly, or they've got sig with significant comorbidities, and they randomised them to either ritizolizumab or, or chemotherapy. And basically, the outcome shows that the immunotherapy is a good treatment. It's better than chemotherapy. So actually, potentially, uh, a new space into which immunotherapy can fit, um, and um, obviously. The outcome data does show a survival benefit for immunotherapy. Uh, and the additional bit of data that we got is that 18.5% of patients in the chemotherapy arms went on to get subsequent immunotherapy. So it just gives us a bit more granularity of the study. Uh, and I, I, I'm not entirely sure where this is going, whether it's going to be, become reimbursed or formally licensed in that uh, setting, but it's definitely um, a, a space that has an unmet need.